do a search via, um, let's just assume, let's just say you run a page about cats, There's cats doing crazy stuff, you know what I mean? You can, again, so you go to YouTube, find the most popular cat videos that you can find with millions of views, millions of comments, blah, blah, blah reach out to those people and say, hey, I want to use your cat video. There's a lot of people who use this strategy and don't do this properly as well. So I'll leave that up to you to whether you want to do things sneaky and just take that video and put it on your Facebook page, right? So you can get penalized for doing that. They'll cancel your account. I'd rather not do that. But once you've got it on there, you know, then you boost it to your audience. So again, you're putting a video that's related to what you, it's, it's connected to your page, obviously, you know. Then you start boosting it because you don't want it to sit there and go viral by itself. You need to actually get it in front of people quickly. It's all about, you know, the, the time at which you can actually get it in front of people. So, Can I just jump back a few steps here? So how are you actually contacting or connecting with the person that owns the, owns the video or has posted that original video? Shoot them a message on, uh, you know, YouTube, email or whatever. Most of them are like contact us. There's a heap of videos these days. You go to YouTube and they go, if you'd like to license this, contact us at media at paul.com. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, And you can work out a good deal with most people. So, Okay. And are you, I mean, are you always paying them or can you as well just say, Hey, like, love your video. Would love to share it with my audience. I mean, yeah, the... I've done that before. Okay, yeah. we we shared one video, um, and I didn't ask permission before I did. Others oh, were in a hurry, <laughs> and I thought we'll go rogue that day, you know. So I'm the boss. We shared it, and it was funny. It was a four wheel drive video, and the guy in the video actually commented on the video. He's like, "Hey guys, thanks for sharing my video," um, and then everybody just proceeded to go, "Hey, Carl." I think his name was Carl. Um, love your video, man. And I messaged him and said, hey, if you make more, I want them. I'll pay for them as well. So, and he was cool. He's like, oh, my God, we, you know, we've had 250,000 views and 600 comments about me basically getting my car bogged. So, he was cool with that. Customer loved that. Everybody loved that. That's ticking on the boxes. So, you yeah. know. And, and how, when, when you say, okay, yeah, I'm willing to pay for it, how do you know, like, if you're doing this for the first time, how are you identifying, well, how much should I be paying? Should I be asking, can I, can I repost it for free? Should I be offering to pay for it? What's the right approach? Well, I, you know, it's obviously, if you, want to get, if you can get it for free, it's always going to be the way to go. You know, hey, we want to share your video with our audience. If, if you want to brand it, feel free. That's cool. You know, we're totally cool with that. We'll do it for nothing. And then if they go, well, I think you can pay for it because a lot of these guys monetize their videos via YouTube. So if you've got, what's to say, you're getting 10 million views on YouTube a month or something, I think you get like $500,000 every month from YouTube by monetizing those videos. So you can give them a flat fee. Here's a couple hundred bucks. We want to use your video. Um, you know, and most guys are going to be pretty cool with that as well. Again, like a lot of the stuff that we used to do as well, like at Warcom, was it's all original content. So you know, I'm not paying anyone for that, you know. So um, and talking about other things that go viral, you know, like if you see, like you can share content on a post and it still links back to YouTube or it links back to wherever it's not actually an embedded video on Facebook itself. So it's a bit of a different strategy. So people are leaving, they are going somewhere else as well. So, you know, there's a few different ways you can use it. Yeah, that's, that's probably leads into my next question uh, quite well. So when you do say license it from that person, is it okay just to get a, a yes in an email? Are you, are you doing like a, a formal nah, contract? Just keep it simple. Yeah. I just, you know, here's, here's what we agree. Here's how much we're going to pay for you, pay for the video. We're free to use it. Only here. We're not going to go make a commercial out of it. Obviously, you know, it's going here. It's going on the Facebook page. That's it. Um, and you know, off we go. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, keeping it simple. All right, I like yeah, that. Easy. They need big contracts. <laughs> um, so you've got the license for the video or you've got them to agree uh, for you to share it on your, on your Facebook page. Are you getting the original video and then embedding it onto, onto Facebook? Yes, yeah, just put it straight. Just upload the video straight to Facebook with a appropriate title name. I mean, most people don't probably give that too much thought, but I do just coming from an SEO background. So I'll call it four wheel driving fails, blah, blah, blah. So I think that video will also rank organically on Facebook as well as we begin, as people move more to Facebook for, you know, searching as well. So I'm sort of, and we're sort of going down a bit of a track here, but I would expect Facebook to really take a big market share away from YouTube over the next couple of years. So don't be surprised 
in another two to three years, everyone's actually sharing their videos to Facebook instead of YouTube. So that will make what we're doing now even easier again. So, and obviously the original poster is providing you the content, you're putting it on your wall, you're boosting the hell out of it, you're benefiting, benefiting from it, but so are they. So you won't even need to do these deals, I think, in the future.